So over the past few weeks, I've been doing some evaluating of uh, lithium charging boards, one cell, two cell, and three cell. Uh, the popular TP4056 and some other small boards available off eBay and other um, retailers. In order to be able to develop a cheap and easy to do it yourself lithium battery pack that can be embedded and left in a project but also managed and charged properly. So when I got some of these boards I looked at the results and the uh, charging methodology and it's really not what I was expecting to see. So I thought in this video, just a quick demonstration, I'll actually grab a known battery charger and I'll charge up a single cell in this battery charger and I'll take a look at actually how it's charged. Is it giving a proper constant current then constant voltage cycle? And uh, what does that look like on a, on a graph? And I'll use that as a comparison in a future video on some of these lithium battery charger boards that I've been getting my hands on and testing. So let's take a look. So what I've got set up here is the Nightcore D4 battery charger. I've got this multimeter on the left measuring the current going to a single 18650 cell. And this meter here will occasionally just measure the voltage of that cell. And we'll see what the reading on the uh, battery charger says. Should be a constant 750 milliamps for a single cell up front. We'll see what the uh, multimeter actually says and compare. and. I'll probably pop up a graph towards the end and actually see how true it is to the constant current, constant voltage charge that you should be getting for a lithium cell. Let's connect the battery and see where we go from here. Okay, so one thing I can already notice is that every second, roughly, um, well, for about one second, every five seconds or so, the current seems to be disconnected from the cell. It could actually be a disconnect so that the battery meter can truly read um, input coming back from the battery so it's, it's real voltage and give it a bit of a test to find out the uh, charge rate or the uh, charge state, I should say. But this obviously does charge your batteries properly and conditions them and gives you the best possible charge. So at this point in time at least, it's holding fairly true to the 0.75 amp charge for a single cell. We'll let this run and see what happens. <laughs> 